I started realizing that it's okay to be fully myself. And I think the more you do that, the writing starts to reflect it and it becomes more authentic and more you and people start to notice because only you have your opinions and only you have lived the sequence of life events that you have lived. And that is so, so special. Nobody else has that. This guy like honked at me because I didn't go fast enough when the light turned green and I, he actually pulled up next to me. I saw exactly who he was and he yelled a bunch of stuff, cursed at me and drove away. And for some reason on that day, I wasn't particularly having a bad day. I was like, oh, I'm going to follow you. And, uh, <laughs> and he got on. That's the, a time to kill, huh? I was just commuting home. And so I pulled up right behind him. There's a lot of traffic. And so I just wanted him to feel a little fear. And so I think in his head, he was like, oh no, like <laughs> this psychopath is following me through an hour of traffic. And uh, I was just like enjoying my commute home. And, but I could tell he was scared because he was like zooming in and out trying to like, lose me. And I was like, oh, this is very funny. And uh, so I, I had lunch with Ravi Nandan, who's the head of A24 TV. I had known him for many years. And um, he, uh, he was just asking me what I've been up to, and I told him the story, and I was like, I don't know, is there a story here? He's like, yes, you have to do that. That's awesome. And there's this machine learning algorithm that got fed like tons of our classic literature, and it found that humans only tell stories in six ways, and they're all like, rise, fall, rise, fall, rise, fall, rise, fall, rise, fall. And then there's only about six modern core progressions that we keep gravitating towards over and over again. And their G, E minor, C, D, G, which is a very popular chord progression, like G is a status quo, E minor is a fall from that status quo, C, D is a rise back to where you started, G, which is literally a hero's journey, and a three-act structure that we are so obsessed with as a modern culture. The greats, like the Beatles and Radiohead and whoever, they take those common chord progressions and they do little things to upend your expectation when like, you think a C is supposed to hit, it's something else, and they delay the C. And so uh, Danny and Amy's arc is basically like G, E minor, G, E minor, G, E minor for like the whole season. And then at the very end, you're giving the audience CDG. So you're creating and extending that longing for as long as you possibly can so that when you actually do give the resolve at the end, it's very, very satisfying. And so that's how, kind of how we planned um, for that hospital bed moment. You just blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so thoughtful and talented in terms of understanding the script and not just trying to design and light the environment, but using design and, and light to inform the character. It always comes from character first. And so you know, Grace and Larkin and I would often have discussions about, all right, well, like, what's the feeling of Amy? Like she feels trapped, like almost in a prison of, you know, she's trapped in a maze of her own creation. Uh, Grace had this really, amazing idea of having like the lights like the windows especially here like higher up so it's always like constantly like feeling like you're like almost subterranean almost you know like you're always like seeking upward and there's a lot of vertical lines in her space to kind of feel like you know she's trapped and even like the spacing between these stair uh slats in a house they're actually much closer together and then grace came I think she like found some research that showed like if you like space them out a little bit wider it's like weirdly like disconcerting <laughs> and so uh, we we had such amazing creative conversations about about the character yeah you put so much into this thing and then and then it's not yours anymore it's out and and you're just whether it's praise or criticism it just starts to like lose its meaning somehow really the best part of it even though it doesn't feel like it at the time is the making of the thing that's the best and you think it's like the reaction but it's not like you get the reaction you're like oh no that, that this, is, this isn't filling the void ah. <laughs> and <Yeah. laughs> uh, the thing that actually does momentarily make the void go away is doing something that you love with people that you love and like putting your all into it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better.